Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, Microsoft rolled out the optional bug fix C release updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11, as I did post. And as I also mentioned in the video I uploaded last week, they also pushed out the latest update for Windows 11 version 24H2, KB5040529, which was released uh, to the Release Preview Channel Insiders with lots of new features and bug fixes. And I did post on that, so for what it's worth, I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, that optional update, which was rolled out to uh, Release Preview Channel Insiders last week, has now actually made its way to the stable version of Windows 11 24H2. And when I say stable version of 24H2, 24H2 hasn't been, been released to the general public as a feature update yet, but it is available on Copilot Plus PCs, which did roll out um, uh, in June. So if you happen to be on a Copilot Plus PC, then you may be interested to know what this update entails. And this update actually rolled out on the 30th, which was a couple of days ago. So for some reason, Microsoft didn't really and officially announced this update um, that it's out of preview now and made available. And that's most probably because um, the majority of users are not on Copilot Plus PC. So it's only Copilot Plus PCs that this update pertains to. So this update we're going to mention today is targeting only Copilot Plus PCs. So just a quick recap, if you missed that previous video, and if you do decide to install the update, KB5040529, then um, your OS build will be bumped up to 26,100.1301. Now we get highlights and a whole lot of new features that are part of those highlights, which are broken up into a gradual rollout and a normal rollout. And most of the new features, and there are plenty of them, are rolling out gradually. So you may see these, you may not. And most of these, by the way, have already made their way into the stable version of Windows 11 23H2. Um, as part of the optional update that it, and some of the updates that have been rolling out recently. So just a quick recap. First of all, the first new feature is the update add support for Emoji 15.1. So Windows supports Unicode symbol-like shapes for family groupings. And some of the new emoji are horizontal and vertical head shake, phoenix, lime, brown mushroom, broken chain. And that's also rolled out to the stable version of Windows 11. And then the start menu gets uh, two features that have also rolled out to stable in 24H2. So there's a new account manager, which I'm not really enjoying because it does feature a bit of an ad here and just gets in the way of the functionality of the start menu um, as far as I'm concerned, but that's a new feature. And then you can also now drag and you can, um, you can also drag apps from the pin section of the start menu and pin them to the taskbar. So that's also available in stable. And then the Windows Backup, there's a new feature where Windows will now back up um, many of your sound settings. This also will include your sound scheme. And this is found um, under the Accounts. And if we head here to our System Preferences, sorry, Windows Backup System Preferences, here we go. So remember my preferences. So if this is toggled on, your sound scheme and your sound settings now will also be backed up. And that's also made its way to stable. And then the lock screen, I'm just going to mention this because I've covered this in detail, gets new widgets like sports, traffic, and finance content, which will appear along with weather. That's also been rolling out over the last couple of months to stable. And then the file explorer gets drag and drop support, which is also known as breadcrumbs. But just a quick recap for this. So if we head up to uh, some files in our file explorer, you can now drag and drop those to other folders that are, which Microsoft calls breadcrumbs in the address bar. So that's also running out across the board and was a highly requested feature, which Microsoft removed and now is brought back. And then settings, um, the update adds a page to settings account called links de linked devices. So once again, if we head back to our accounts and if you do have any linked devices, they will show up here. And uh, on it, you can manage your PCs and Xbox consoles if you do have any linked devices. And then you can see uh, there's my other Windows laptop, which is a linked device. And the update also puts the Add Now button, apparently, um, in settings accounts. So what this is all about 
is when you select it, you can add a recovery email address if you have not added one for your Microsoft account yet. And the button only shows if you sign into your Microsoft account. So that'll only show up when you are signing into your Microsoft account. So just take note of that. And then if you do a lot of gaming with Game Pass um, on the home page, it adds a new Game Pass recommendation card on the settings home page. And the last new feature for settings is the update includes updated visuals. I'm just mentioning this for the rename your PC and change date and time dialogues to match the Windows 11 visual. So that's just upgrading those two components to match the look and feel of Windows 11. Now, Windows Share gets five new features, which I did mention in that previous video. So if you are interested, go check that previous video out. I'm not going to mention um, them because just for time for this video, because I have stated this already in that previous video. So Windows Share gets five minor new features and improvements. And then also they focused a lot on the task manager. And there's too many to get into in this video when it comes to improvements, but they've made a good couple of improvements to the functionality and the stability and the performance and the look and feel of the task manager. And then the feature that is on a normal rollout. So all those features I've mentioned now are on a gradual rollout. Now the only normal rollout feature is the widget icon on the taskbar. Uh, no longer has pixelated or fuzzy um, icons here to the left hand side and the update also gives you a larger set of animated icons and that's also rolled out to the stable and then because this is a non-security update it also includes quality improvements so there are a couple of fixes that are taking place under the hood so that's KB5040529 which is now out of preview and has made its way to stable and as mentioned this update only applies to Windows 11 version 24H2 that is targeting Copilot plus PCs, devices and devices that were previously using Windows inside a 24H2 build. So just take note of that. This hasn't rolled out to the majority users who are still running the stable version of Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.